Hi, uh, hello guys. Good afternoon and good evening. And uh, <laughs> sorry, 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 love. Okay, today I just want to show you in a simple way on how to make apron. So this is your material. Ah, uh, this is all the pieces I have at home. Don't be, don't die hassle. Why do I add this to it? Because I want the length to be a little bit longer. What and what do you need? You need your tape and you need your scissors and also your chuck to just give a line. You know, according to this video, it's just for us in the home. Maybe you have material and you don't have apron and you know, you just want to make something for yourself. It's very, very, very easy. So first and foremost, let's go for the length. This is the length. That is... Um, 30 35 the length is 35 you can make your own more longer the way you want it you can make it shorter you can make it 30 but i just want it to be 35 a little bit longer for me so if you are tall you want it to be long okay that is good so and for you to be able to know the neck just take your tape around your neck Take your tape around your neck and, you know, between the hands of the brazier, just a little bit far from there and just put your tape like this and you get the measurement of what you want. This is 30. You see, this is 30. When I want it more shorter, this is 29. Maybe it's okay for you. Your, your apron will start from here. This is 29. So with this length, you use it to have your your round this this is the rope that i'm going to use like this i've already measured it down okay that is for that then when we talk about to tie this is um uh 19 you can make it longer so it doesn't really have measurement because if you make it longer you tie it up then you bring it front it's okay so but this in my pieces in my cloth is not enough this is all I have. I have two of these pieces. So then let's go. From your from your from your chest, you are going to measure because you know it's gonna stand on your chest. So from your the cloth is already folded into two. Sorry, this is the cloth that's already folded into two. So when you want to calculate the wideness of the cloth, you do like this. This is 15. That means this is 30. That means the length, the wideness of the cloth is 30. Fold into two, it now becomes 15. So no matter how um, uh, fat you are, this will be perfectly okay. So we now come to the chest. So from your starting of your folding, you see this is where I fold, like this. Then you measure. I'm going to measure seven and a half for my chest because I don't want it to be too wide. But because I'm going to fold it, you know, I'm going to do hem in all and not bias. So I'm going to make it seven and a half. And we shall have already marked down, which this is the seven and a half. So for my, for the wideness that I want for the, for the apron, so you do your measurements. So. Already all the material folding to two is 15. It will definitely be too wide because it's not wrapper. So I'm going to make it. 13 this is 13 because after the app when i cut i'm going to fold run maybe at the end it's going to come 14 so i believe 13 will be perfect for well fat or so this is the 13 then this line that you mark from this line to this place you see i make it 10 that means to have your armpit just to have a little bit shape you can see it this is 10 if you want to bring it down 11, it's okay. Just to have a little bit shape. So I make my 10. So you draw this line from this 10 to this place. You see? Then from here, just measure your two and a half. Two and a half or two, anyhow you want it. But I'm going to make leave my own in two and a half because I don't want the arm piece to open later when I fold. There you make your mark. So with your gentle hand, just begin going this way, this way, this way. Then this is your armpit for your apron. 
then from here you just go straight and you slice it down so let's cut it and see how it look like before we start sewing it's a very easy way please subscribe to the channel and also your notification bell and please when you watch the video can they like and share to other if you have any question just leave it below anything you want me to do to show you as an example just leave it in the comment section i will definitely do that okay so right now i want to add pockets to it i just need pockets that is why these pieces you see is going to be covered later so you fold your pocket this is the pieces i have i fold mine into two this way in case if you don't want pocket, it's not and it's not by force, it's what uh -huh. so I fold it this way, then I I place it on it. I place it on it this way because I just want to make a little curve together. So when you place it that way, you come up from the opening. You can see from the opening, this is the part that is open not from the closing part then you go up by three then you mark you mark okay so when you mark you start from here you start from your closing part because i just want to put a curve you begin curving use your free hand you will get there you know you will get there just use your free hand begin curve you have a good curving of your clothes so then you cut it off you cut it off this way please subscribe and like and share too this is for Christmas in case you don't have a if you are working you need pin in fact, my pin is not here. Let me just get one. Okay, I was looking for my um, um, pin before. So I pin it down. So you can see this is the cutting. So this is it. This is the pocket. Let's open it and see how it look like. If we got it right. If we get it right, sorry. You see, this is just your apron. It's set to go this way. If you see that maybe it's still too big for you, you measure it's too big for you, you are all learning. Then you cut it. But I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to fold about two inches from here. So that is that. So for the pocket, I'm going to turn it upside down this way. I'm going to do upside down this way because this pocket is going to turn. I want it to be the lining up. Then. I will place it this way. I'll place it on it this way. When I run it this way, then I turn it up. Then I so but before then I have to do all this hemming. I have to do all this hemming run, then maintain everything, then I put it on it before before sewing the dance. Alright, guys, see the way I'm folding it. I fold it this way, then I'll just match it all through. I fix the rope before the pocket. Okay, guys, I want to fix the hand. I've used pin to attack, so to hold the other one, and this is it. So you just come here and use your pin to to hold it. That is it. You see, I have um, hem it all around with my machine. This is it. Now this is my pocket. You know where you put your hand if you wish to. So I've hemmed it all around. Then this is the back of the apron, and this is the face of the of pocket. So you place it this way, this way. You place it like this. You see, it's exactly because we use it to measure it. You place it this way. So I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it this like that. Then I do my turnover. So you just have to use your pin to just hook it round this way then i do my pin over so when i all right i have sewed it all around just the way you see 
Then you just do your turnover. You turn it this way, just like that. This is it. Then you go press. Then after you do your turnover, you can see that the pieces of cloth are added has been covered. Then you just go iron, um, iron it neatly. Then you use your machine or then you just hook it down. You hook it down. If you want to make it two pockets, then you just you, um, uh, put maybe bias to just cross it here to make a little bit design. Then you have one here, one there. If you like the video, subscribe, share, and leave your comments. And any other thing you want me to, that thing you want me to show and um, leave your comment there. All right then, let me finish then I'll give you a look. Thank you. All right, my, my friends and my mothers in the house and the father in the house, I have make it. This is the apron. This is just it. So simple. But don't be wondering that I put the pocket at the end. That is what I just like. But in case you want to put yours here, uh, it's so simple. Just measure where you want to place it and just place it there. Then you hem just the down run. Then you hem everywhere and then you put it on. But I just left mine like this because I'm not only really going to make use of the pocket and the pieces is remaining. That it does it. All right, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. Please, please like, subscribe, and share. It's your sister, your friend, Adiodu Ogemui, and thank you for watching and God bless you. This is um, Christmas tree, and I believe we are preparing for the Christmas too. So, 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 we'll be coming across your way with different kind of thing. God bless you. See you in my